back guys to Slip Street TV. I'm your host Randy. Behind me we have a 2016 Corvette Stingray. The purpose of this video is to give you guys a tour of the car, show you how she looks, show you the features, how she drives, and give you our opinion on the car. And hopefully answer the question whether or not it's still worth buying this car in 2022. So without further ado, me and my associate we're going to go for a drive and get on to a review. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you're new. And yeah, let's get to it. We have my associate here, Johnny Deep, he on YouTube as well, so link in the description below. I'm in the flesh, baby. Subscribe to him, check out his uh, channel. And yeah, man, so what do we got here, bro? Looks like we got a 2016 Corvette, uh, I don't know what trim this is, but. It's a 3LT, we have 3LT. a 3LT, yeah. So this is basically fully loaded. Um, it's not a Z51 package car. It has a regular, you know, it's basically regular. No Z51. It's 3LT. We have ourselves a 6.2 liter engine, cranking out what 455 horsepower. 455. Nice. It's like the Camaros, the new Camaros. 450, 455. I'll put, I'll put a graphic here somewhere. The only thing is, um, if you have the the optional Z51 package, which brings the MPP exhaust as well, it'll bump it up to 460, 465, 460 around the area. So you get a little what 10, 10 five horsepower difference. But this one doesn't have the Z51 or the active exhaust. So basically 3LT and that's it. <laughs> okay, okay. It looks so, good though, because it's blacked out. Yeah, so we have a yeah, we have a blacked out, you know, Corvette. And to me, when you have a blacked out Corvette, it seems like it's like a like a fighter jet almost. Like a fighter jet look. It's like it's very stealthy. I like that. So let's start off with the design. So the design of the car on the outside, what do you think? I think it looks good. Sharp angles everywhere. I like the, uh, the headlights. Yeah, I love really? the headlights. Yep, yep. Also the long hood too as well. It long hood. Yeah, it looks like a Viper almost, which is almost like a insult to Corvettes, but because <laughs> that's a direct competitor, but it looks really good. I do like the, the headlights, like you said, the hood. There's a little vent on vents, yeah. Yeah, top of the hood as well. There's also side vents as well, which typically you see in like a supercar, but you have this in the Corvette, so it's pretty dope. In the inside, everything's all upscale compared to your previous generation vets. You know, you have leathers here, you have, you know, contrast stitching here and there. Lots of features everywhere. What's this, Alcantara? Alcantara yeah, you got Alcantara over here, you got leather over here, you got this metal finish over here. You know, it's a lot going on for this car. And another thing too is for the interior, you have a lot of storage space for a lot of things. And for a sports car, that's pretty good. As you can see here, you have around, you have cup holders for, you know, your snapples. You have a big trunk in the back, which also you can store your your uh, ceiling as well. Not ceiling, your roof. The roof, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can take a, yeah, one, one of the my favorite, window. yeah, one of my favorite features of a Corvette is that you can take off the roof and put it in the back. So you're gonna have to sacrifice, you know, weight to have a, a, a convertible or like, or like a soft top because I, I don't like soft tops on, on cars yeah, that's, so that's yeah it's, for me it's, it's hideous um, you know to each their own but I like you know a hard top and you can take this hard top off put it in the back pretty easily it takes about what four or five minutes real quick and that's it it's like three little latches here and then you, you unhook those take the roof off put it in the back that's it the only thing is the only thing is, it's ha it has happened to other people, is that if you don't latch these correct, if you go over 60 miles an hour, the roof might fly off. <laughs> you don't want that. <laughs> other features that you see here, you know, you have an LCD screen over here that changes within any mode that you change to. So you have weather mode for, you know, for your old purpose weather. I'm gonna drive this in the snow because this is pretty sketchy. <laughs> As right now, it's really sketchy with these tires. There's weather. Track. There's track. eco. Yeah, eco. Uh, for the cylinders shut off so you could be essentially driving in v4 mode you don't even feel it when it's happening <laughs> so that's good for gas mileage then you have yourself touring sport and track another thing i do like is that per every mode you know the screen in front of you changes so you have you know like in track you have this aggressive 
pocket stick showing you your RPMs and all that. Another thing that I like too is that when you change the modes or whatever, it, it do, you do feel the difference in the car. Like the driving dynamics, it's not like a like a fake thing. It's a, it's an actual thing that you do feel. So you know everything, the responsiveness of the steering, of the accelerator, everything is you know sharpened up when you the higher up you go with with the uh, modes. Tighter suspension probably. Right? Yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Another cool party trick that this Corvette has is the screen itself. You know, you have a little storage bin right here in case you need to store, you know, something that you want nobody to see. <laughs> enough for a phone, enough for, you know, colognes and stuff like that. I'll probably book, <laughs> I'll probably put a cologne in there or something and, you know, just keep it there. It's pretty dope. And you also have a USB connector in there too, in case you have to charge your phone as well. I do like how you can change the temperature inside the cabin. With this little knob right here is very clear to see it's pretty that you know it's pretty um it's pretty nice to look at too it's very nice i, I like this interior well, i like the interior for 2016 everything's updated so like i said a lot of uh, different material in here everything everything's soft the seats are a little tight though i'm not uh, a big guy but uh i feel like it's hugging me real tight i'll right. tell you i'll tell you i'm probably a good five eight five nine yeah eight five ten <laughs> well yeah i mean i'm a 511 yeah i feel the same way as well like a lot of leg room but yeah it's know. a lot of leg room I, I not there's no complaints about that it's just the whiff like i feel like there's not enough whiff in here like when i first got in it felt very uncomfortable i'm not gonna lie to you like i had a big coat on and i felt like i was very claustrophobic like everything's so closed in it feels like a cockpit you know like a cockpit you know like an f-16 cockpit that's what it feels like to me and you know if you're not used to that and you're claustrophobic that might be an issue for you so yeah i would suggest before you buy this car to at least at least sit in one and fill it out for a little bit it took me quite some time to get used to but after that you know after like, what half hour of me driving this i finally got used to the interior of this car like visibility um it's, it takes some time to get used to as well because you, you have this big hood in, in front of you and it's very wide. And it's a little bit jarring at first, so <laughs> it took me a little bit to, to get used to. But after some time, you know, half hour, like I said earlier, it's pretty easy. <laughs> Jeez, that was only 60 and it's losing control. <laughs> yeah. See, that's the thing about this car, like, it's very sketchy. Like right now with this with this type of uh, tires they got on right now, it got Michelin Pilot Sports. And it's like 32 degrees outside. So there's not enough like heat in the tires. So you, you gotta really be careful. Driving wise, like the paddle feels good. The paddle shifters feel good too. I like the feeling that, that they have. They don't really feel cheap. The tactile feeling feels good. Pressing them. The one compare I have about this car, it's just the transmission itself. So if I press on the paddle shifter, it'll take a while for it to to kick in I'm about to press it right now now it shifts now it shifts it's, it's a little delayed it's a little bit annoying for me because you know as a driver you know as an enthusiast I like things to be immediate you know as soon as you do it you want it done right away and things like that kind of takes you out of the experience just a little bit but to the average driver to the average person that doesn't care about that this is a really a really thrilling car so I'm about to launch it right now Let's go third gear. Three, two, one, let's go. Sheesh! Okay, okay. She gets up. She gets up. She gets up. But how, how does it feel for you as a passenger? <laughs> oh, it's pretty, like, it's smooth ride, it's comfortable. Just the seats are, you know, like I said, bolstering up, up on the upper half. It's a little tight, but I got a lot of leg room. Um, I can't complain. Maybe the, uh, the spacing here on my legs are. It is a little tight. Well. Yeah, it is pretty tight on the spacing right here. It's yeah. a little crazy. Yeah, you're not wrong on that. <laughs> but um, you know, I got the uh, safety handle to hold on to when it gets a little crazy. Yeah, I call this the what the f handles right here. Yeah, what the f handle. There you go. <laughs> the what the f handle. So got yeah, right. You got two of them. So if your uh, driver is on some, you know, some crazy stuff, you'd be like, what the f? grab onto the handles right here yeah you know, and grab on for dear life <laughs> <laughs> that's why i call those like i've been ever since this car has come out like in 2014 i've been eyeing this car very closely 
because to me it was like the first Corvette that that resembles an exotic. You know, every time I looked at every time I looked at a Corvette before, it, to me it was like, all right, that's a nice you know sports car. But I never looked at it as an exotic. You know, to me when this car first came out seeing all the creases on the hood and the creases on the curvature of the car and seeing how aerodynamic it is and all that it resembled to me a, a, like a ferrari or something you know and it was the first time when i looked at that corvette and i was like wow <laughs> like this is a good looking car and then the z06 came out <laughs> <laughs> and then that's a different story the z06 is just a whole different animal she's very low she's a very low car getting in and out of this car is oh yeah i like that yeah once you open it, your foot's already on the ground. Like, once you open it, slide over. You know? Yeah, you slide over. That's it. Like, but from like a standing, from standing up to like get get into the car, you had to calculate and everything, and then just dive in because <laughs> that's how low this car is. Stock. <laughs> well, let's do a couple more pulls. See how she feels. I brace myself. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're so right, Mexico. yeah, right now we're in Mexico. Right now we have this bumpy road. Lots of salt on the road too, so we gotta be careful, but she handles pretty good, man. I'm telling you. Handles pretty good. I got the shifters going. Dial shifting right here. Going for the apex. You know what I'm saying? Maintain that throttle. Maintain, maintain, maintain. You see this sharp C curve going over here? Very easy. Very easy. Straight away right here. Going, going, going. Come out to the next curve, downshift. See, he didn't downshift. He, now it did. Now it did again. But it's already too late. I already hit the apex. You know, that, that's. As a driver, that's a little, you know. <laughs> Alright. Responsive yeah. right there. Straight away right here. She gets up. And the braking, bro. The braking is just phenomenal. My goodness. Going to add a straightaway right here. Breaking. To be honest with you, this one doesn't even have the Z51 brakes. And they feel they feel great. <laughs> they feel great. One more straight away. Man. Get money. <laughs> Yo. It's like. She don't slow down, man. It feels like she gets faster and faster. You know when you accelerate and around top end, you feel like the car starts to die off? It, this doesn't do that. It just wants to keep going. It, well, yeah, it wants to keep going. Man. Yo, this car is fun, dude. I like it. I think about getting one. I don't know. Right? You know what? Should we do that again? Should we go back again? One I'm more time? Pull. Let's do it. All right, let's do one more time. One more pull. One more pull. I'm gonna put for the subscribers. Cause they want it, they asked for it. Yeah, they asked for it. If you guys uh, like what you see here, like, comment, share, subscribe. Like this video, it's gonna help us out with the algorithm too. So do us a favor, like this video. And here we go. We're in third gear right now. Second actually. We're in the power band. Taking the C band right here. This left C over here. And then maintaining, maintaining, maintaining. Once she straightens out, gunning. Jesus. Turn me into Winnie the Pooh out here. <laughs> <laughs> you heard that shift, man? Oh my God. Yo. Keeping the C curve right here. Taking this, taking this. Once she straightens out, we go for another bend right here. Maintaining, maintaining, and here, not yet, not yet. Here we go. Now shift over here. Maintaining, maintaining. Another bend right here. Look, it's just so fluent, bro. And the feedback I'm feeling is just crazy. Here we go. Ooh, she wants to go. That's wild. Yeah, that's, that's wild. Yep. Can't give him too much.
much because the roads yeah are the roads are too much yeah so I, i'm i'm giving it just a little bit just enough but wow this car bro she hooks she yo she can handle man she can freaking handle under the right hands she can do a lot <laughs> and I'm not saying I'm a freaking professional because I truly am not. I, I haven't pushed this car anywhere near its limits. But for what we've seen thus far, god damn. I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed. Yeah, man. Let's give it the beans real quick. Nice. Say less. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. There's not enough room for this car, bro. But overall, it's a good package deal, I would say. So, I'm gonna drive some more and then give you guys our final impressions and then we go from there. See y'all in a bit. One word that can describe this car, visceral. Visceral performance, visceral handling, visceral looks. I must say, well done Corvette. And to be honest, this being just a base C7 and having higher trims as the Z06 and the, and the C8 as well, it just makes you wonder like, damn, this could get even better <laughs> than this? It's crazy. So yeah, what do you think, man? I like it, sharp, design looks beautiful. I mean, I'd buy one. <laughs> Yeah, right? I don't blame you for buying one. So, yeah, guys, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, subscribe. My friend Greg, thank you for letting us um, borrow this beast. And, yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Thank you all for watching. <laughs>